According to author and New York Times reporter Michael Schmidt in his uh, re-released book, it's not a new book, but it does have some new information with it. John Kelly, General John Kelly, who served as one of Donald Trump's first chiefs of staff. He wasn't the first one. He was just one of the first came along about six months into the president's administration. And, uh, according to what Kelly told Schmidt, John Kelly was constantly having to remind Donald Trump that he wasn't allowed to share classified documents with his friends. This wasn't a one-time thing. It wasn't like, Hey, uh, just remember, you can't give this to your buddies repeatedly had to tell him you cannot share classified information with your friends. So let me read. This is what Schmidt told MSNBC this past weekend. Kelly would try to stop Trump from doing things that could damage national security, you know, like releasing classified information to people who don't have access to it. Here's the chief of staff to the president of the United States concerned that the president of the United States could damage national security. Remember the president of the United States is in charge of protecting the country, but Trump behaved in such an abnormal, immoral way in Kelly's eye that he didn't trust what Trump would do. So let me break that down for just a moment here. The chief of staff to the president of the United States, right? You're the guy that is with him every day. You're with him every day, all day. You're the, the heartbeat of that administration. Everything the president says and does gets run through you as the chief of staff. And that very person who got to know Donald Trump very intensely is telling us that Donald Trump himself was the national security threat. He's telling us that Donald Trump could not be trusted with classified documents because he just knew if he turned his back, he was going to be turning them over to people that ought not be seeing them. So there's two very obvious things here that we need to discuss. The first is Donald Trump should never be allowed to get back into the white house. Okay. The man is a national security threat. We had already seen him by the way, tweet out classified information about a missile launch in Iran. He wasn't supposed to share the, the graphic and the intelligence that showed how we were able to see these things, but he did. So we already know the guy can't be trusted with classified information. This only adds to that concern. And if Trump gets back into the white house, he's not going to have another John Kelly there to tell him, Hey, you can't do that. He's going to make sure his entire staff is filled with people who say, hell yes, sir. That's a great idea. So that's terrifying. The second thing this also brings up are the documents at Mar-a-Lago, obviously. If Trump had always wanted to share this information with people, whether, you know, it was to just brag about it, like, oh, look what we can do as a country. Or if it was, hey, I'm going to give you some secrets. You give me some secrets. We're all good. We don't know. But if either one of those things is the case, then those documents that were found down at Mar-a-Lago right outside Donald Trump's actual office there become even more terrifying because it does raise the question of, did he share this with people? John Kelly wasn't chief of staff. He wasn't down there at Mar-a-Lago guarding those documents saying, Hey, you're not getting past me guys. I got goal line defense right here. Nobody's getting through to the documents. That didn't happen. It was just Donald Trump with a bunch of boxes, people walking through that area regularly. And we don't know if he finally got to have his way and share them with people who should not have seen them. It also further shows us why his document scandal is far more interesting and possibly illegal than what's going on with Biden's documents. I think Biden's biggest problem right now with his document scandal is just that it looks really bad. I don't think Biden had intent. Whereas based on what John Kelly said, Trump may have had those documents with the intent to finally get to show them off to his friends. Hi everyone. This here is little Athena and Athena would like to know why you haven't subscribed to fair and balanced yet. So please don't let Athena down subscribe today.